Greetings! Today we're going to work on scales, everyone's favorite. We're going to do five different scales that you need to know as an elementary music student. The first scale we're going to start with is called the pentatonic scale. Now, do you know another word that sounds like pentatonic? Perhaps pentagon. A pentagon is a shape with five sides. The pentatonic scale has five notes. So we're going to use the five notes of the pentatonic scale to be able to sing it using hand signs. Check it out. Our hand signs for the pentatonic scale are Do, Re, Mi, So, and La. Try that again. Do, Re, Mi, So, and La. So here we go with the pentatonic scale. Here we go. Do, re, mi, so, la, so, mi, re, do. All right, great job. So the next scale we're going to learn is the major scale. Now, unlike the pentatonic scale, which only had five notes, the major scale has eight. Check it out. The hand signs that we use for the major scale are Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, and Hi Do. When we sing Hi Do, we don't actually say Hi Do, we just call it Do, and it's up here. And then we come back down from Hi Do, Ti, La, so, fa, mi, re, and do. Check it out. Here is the major scale. Here we go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Fantastic job! So now that you've done the pentatonic scale and the major scale, let's put them together and do both of them back to back. We're going to start on Do, we'll go up to La, back down to Do, and straight into our major scale, up to High Do, and back down to Do. You're going to notice we don't repeat any of the Do hand signs back to back. So we'll sing Do, Re, Mi, So, La, So, Mi, Re, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, Ti, La, So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. Watch that again if you need to. And if you need the extra practice, you can always slow down the speed of the video to give you a little bit more time to work your way through it. So here we have the pentatonic scale and the major scale back to back. Let's do it! Here we go. Do, re, mi, so, la, so, mi, re. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Fantastic! That was really great. Now, if you are a younger student, perhaps up to grade two or so, you can stop here and you'll know all kinds of important useful things. If you're in grade three or higher, you might need to know minor scales. I teach all of my students three different minor scales. We start our minor scales on low la, down here, and we only go up to high law up here. It does not go up to high do like our major scale did. So the first minor scale that we're going to learn is going to be the natural minor scale. It's called the natural minor scale because it uses all of the same regular hand signs that we would for our major scale. We've just shifted everything down by two notes or two hand signs. Check it out. If our major scale goes from low do to high do, 
If we shift down one note, that gives me T, and I shift down another note, and that gives me La. So we're going to start our minor scales on low La and go to high La. Here we go with the natural minor scale. Fantastic! So, now that we've done the natural minor scale, we can learn the next one, which is the harmonic minor scale. The harmonic minor scale uses one different hand sign from the natural minor scale. We're going to take the hand sign for so and change it. We're going to spread all of our fingers apart, and that gives us C. Now, C is going to be slightly higher than so. So our harmonic minor scale uses La, Ti, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Si, La. Si, Fa, Mi, Re, Do, Ti, La. You're going to hear a bit of a difference when we use Fa, Si, La, Si, Fa, so on and so forth. You'll hear the difference in how the scale sounds. A lot of students like to say things like, oh, this sounds Egyptian. I beg to differ. I would argue that there are probably not very many elementary students in the United States that know really what Egyptian music sounds like, but that's okay. You will notice that it sounds a little different than the natural minor scale. So here we go with the harmonic minor scale. Excellent! So now that we've done the natural minor scale and the harmonic minor scale, it's time for our third minor scale, which is the most challenging of all. The melodic minor scale is different from the others because it changes. When you sing the melodic minor scale, you use two altered hand signs on the way up. On the way down, however, it goes back to the same hand signs that we use for the natural minor scale. So going up, we're going to take Fa and replace it with Fi, which is going to be slightly higher. And we're going to take So and replace it with Si, which, just like for the harmonic minor scale, will be slightly higher. But then when we go back down, we're going to swap C back to So, and Fi goes back to Fa. So it's just like the natural minor scale when we're descending. So check out the differences. Listen for that change going up the melodic minor scale versus coming back down the melodic minor scale and see if you can hear where those hand sign changes happen. So here we go with the melodic minor scale. Excellent work, folks. We're now going to take all of our minor scales, and we're going to do all three minor scales in a row, back to back to back. We'll start with the natural minor, then the harmonic minor, then the melodic minor last. Here we go with all three minor scales.
fantastic work. So now you're ready for the real challenge. We're going to sing all five scales that you learned today back to back without stopping in between. Listen for the passing tone going from Do of the end of the major scale down to low La of the beginning of the natural minor scale. All that is is a passing tone. We're going to pass right on through it to go from one scale to the next. But we're going to start with our pentatonic scale, then our major scale, then our natural minor scale, then our harmonic minor scale, and then finally our melodic minor scale. So you'll sing all five scales that we've done today back to back without stopping in between. So here we go with all five scales. Good luck. Excellent, excellent work. How'd you do? Did you make it all the way from beginning to end with no mistakes? If you made a mistake, that's okay. That's why this video is here. We're here to help you learn. So if you need to go back and practice some more, please feel free to rewind the video and start over. You can go back to any of the scales and sing it by itself, or you can jump straight to the end and sing all five scales in a row. You do whatever you need to do to help you learn and perform better. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the Mobile Music Mansion and make sure that you are doing something today to be musical and awesome. Bye everybody!